What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the THC Tip. Well, check this out, man. Because today we're going to be telling a story um, It took place in 8th grade. Um, and if you haven't learned by the title yet, it's a story of when my cousin took my girlfriend. And I put air quotes around girlfriend because she wasn't my girlfriend yet. You know, it wasn't official. You know, we weren't dating, you know, like 100%. But, you know, I was working on it. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those things where, you know what I'm saying? Especially it was 8th grade, man. So, you know, I'm planning ahead. You know, I'm thinking about life, man. So, you know, she was this girl. And I got to think of a name. We got to have a, a, a name for her. Let's call her, uh, Br and I was about to say Brittany, but then again... A little Uzi Vert might fucking come catch me lacking on that one. Uh, let's call her Sarah, all right? How about Sarah? So, you know what I'm saying? Me and Sarah, um, you know, she was this girl. You know, if you saw her, you know, she's real beautiful. You know what I'm saying? She was one of those girls that everybody, you know, like all dudes in the school, you know, oh, man, look at Sarah, man. Look at Sarah. Yeah, Sarah's hot, bro. You know how to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She was one of those type of girls. You know, everybody's always looking at her. But nobody, see, you know, originally when we first got eighth grade, she had a guy. You know, she had a boyfriend, uh. I had to think about who the boyfriend was for a second, but yeah, you know, she was dating this guy for a second, you know, and that literally, you know, just died and decayed away, but she was just one of those girls that everybody always tried, but it, nothing really ever, you know what I'm saying, materialized, why, I couldn't tell you, but, so, you know, I was gonna shoot my shot, you know what I'm saying, some would say I was a little out of my league, but I was gonna do what I had to do, so, like I said, it's 8th grade, and, you know, Sarah, you know, Sarah's dead, like I said, um, I was just moving, like, okay, let me, Rewind back, it would, it would, it would. So I had just moved here to where I am now in North Carolina, a spot in North Carolina that I just moved to. Uh, and you know, like I said, I was at a new school, so you know, bam, Sarah, you know, like I see Sarah, you know, I got a couple of friends here, you know, I'm hanging out, I'm doing pretty good for myself at this point because this is probably like a month, maybe a month and some change into school. It's kind of like, and it's something I think about all the time. I didn't really remember noticing Sarah, like, at first, like, when we first got to school, but it seemed, and she was always there, but, you know, just, you know, like I said, a month into the new school year, that's when I had noticed her. And literally, like, the first time I had noticed her, you know, I had told, I forgot literally the first thing I said. It was something, like, way too, like, not harsh or crazy, but, you know, like, oh, hey, beautiful, hey, mommy, mommy. It wasn't nothing, trust me, it was nothing like that. But I'm just really trying to figure out what I said. But it was something, not, I wouldn't even say out of line. It was something a little bit out there. You know, it wasn't just like, hey, Sarah, how you doing? I literally, you know what I'm saying, like professed my love for this girl the first time I saw her. And I'm kind of like looking back at my history, even in the second grade, you know, I, it was never a build up with me like, hey, Rosa, you know, I think your dress is pretty nice. I was always like, yo, you, you know, you mine, you know, not a you mine, like possessive type of thing, but yo. I like you and I want you, you know what I'm saying, some type of shit like that, either way, you know, I always, you know, I knew what I wanted, and I would be like, hey, you know, I like you, you know, it'd be sweeter than that, like I said, I wouldn't be hardcore abusive up in this motherfucker, bitch, you gonna love me, you know what I'm saying, wasn't no Tina Turner Ike type of thing, but, you know, like I said, I let her know, bam, from the beginning, that that's what it was, and she pretty much let me know that she wasn't too into me, not by saying she wasn't too into me or anything like that, but it was one of those things, you know, like, I'd always be like a little semi-class clown, you know what I'm saying? So I'd always, you know, make her giggle a little bit, make her laugh in here and there. And even, you know, like I said, when I first, you know, came on to her, you know, she just kind of like laughed it off a little bit. Just like put it off. So, like I said, this was a month into school. Over, you know, time in the school. How many months in, do we go to school? Like seven or eight? Nine, some shit like that, like nine, eight months. Either way, like I said, probably like, uh, let's say three or four. You know, I've been working on it. You know, I'm friends with her, friends with her friends. You know, it's all, you know, it's real good. It's eighth grade. You know, we all are in the same classes and shit together. So, you know, it's all, you know, real close knit. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on it. Like I said, I'm already a little bit out of my league, but I'm working on it. You know what I'm saying? It takes, you know, baby steps, you know, to become an adult. So, let's see. Probably, like I said, a good four five months into it, you know, I'm going over to her house now, because she had a brother, and you know what I'm saying, you know, so I go over to hang out with her brother, it's not like I was going over there, like, hey, what's up, but you know, like, fucking, I'll go over there, hang with her brother, and shit like that, and you know, when I'm hanging with her brother, you know, when she's over there in the cut, you know, I come over there, scoop, scoop the boot, and you know, do my little work and my little magic over there, and, and over this whole time period, you know, like I said, I'm working, and you know, she's, you know, we're... <laughs> For me to look back on it now and to say, you know, we were, like, comfortable or something like that, that, that just sounds a little weird. It was just, it was working. Like I said, a little bit more time and it would have been it. I remember one time because, like I said, she was still playing, you know, hard to get towards me. She wasn't really talking to anybody else. You know, like I said, I was friends with her friends or whatever. And, you know, I'd always talk to them like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying, put in the word for, uh, you know, me about Sarah. You know, tell Sarah a lot of the, a lot of that. I was like, oh, she's not your type. You ain't her type. Why, 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 who, who? I'm like, what, huh? Question mark. 
So, you know, translation, she don't want jazz. But either way, like I said, I'm still trying. I'm still punching. I remember it was one time my homie Walter, shouts out to him. I can say his name because, I don't know, he, he looks good in this story, I guess. But either way, I said, yo, Walter, you know what I'm saying? No, I didn't say nothing like that. Let me go back and stop lying. Either way, it was one day. I remember, I think we were like in the hallway, just some random shit, and I think, you know, I had said something to Sarah or something, whatever, you know, she did like the little LOL, you know, playoff -y kind of thing, and I remember Walter was like, yo, man, you know, um, I think, you know, like, cause, like I said, it was 8th grade, and this is now getting to the tail end, you know, in a few more months, we're gonna be in high school or whatever, so he was like, man, you know, I think, you know, she gonna stop playing hard to get once she get to high school, man, you know what I'm saying, she be more used to you and la da dee la da da and I was like, you know, man, I was thinking the same thing, you know, like, you know how sometimes, you know, somebody else may be thinking the same thing that you're thinking, like, right when you're thinking it, it was one of those moments, I was like, you know what, throughout the whole year, looking at the start of the year, I have made a lot of progress since the beginning, so I really do think, you know, just one more year, you know, we go to high school, it'd be a whole new era, a whole new league, I will be able to do what I gotta do, you know what I'm saying, I will get in there somehow, it'll make it, it'll, it'll, I'll make it happen, okay, so, we skipped to high school, this is ninth grade, now. oh yeah, and over the summer, see, this is another thing that made me really believe that I was in there like swimwear, it won't gonna be nothing wrong with it, a lot of the, a lot of the, I was gonna be in the building, uh, okay, so check this out, like I said, over the summer, you know, we were taught, like, and that's the thing, like, I think, you know, like, her mom was, like, really strict and whatever, you know, about her talking to guys and all type of stuff like that, you know, one of the strict parents, so I think, like, she didn't really have a cell phone that much through eighth grade, it wasn't really, uh, everybody having cell phones back then, it was, like, what, 2009 or some shit, so everybody didn't have cell phones anyway, but, you know, most people did or whatever, but she didn't have a phone, and, uh, I remember at one point, like, she would, you know, get her brother's phone. I was about to say take her brother's phone, but she didn't take the phone to fucking text me. But, you know, she would get her brother's phone and, you know, text me, like, late at night, you know what I'm saying? And we just talk, you know, nothing, like, real sexual. It was an X-rated text going down. But it'd be, you know, like, hey, you know, blah, 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 woo, woo. You know, it was a little more, anytime, you know, somebody, you know, texting you late at night and, you know, they really don't have to be. I wouldn't say, like I said, that you could fuck them or y'all are going to get married one day or something like that. But, you know, it's a little, like I said, some things you do with acquaintances, some things you do with, you know, regular school friends. And it's another thing that you do with people that you're really comfortable with, you know, people that you lot of do, whatever. Either way. So, you know, like I said, over the summer, you know, we're doing that, you know, staying up late at night talking about, I remember when we were talking about fucking, what, like, three girls, one cup, and the one guy, one horse, she showed me that, and I'm still scarred for life. And yeah, so pretty much like I said, you know, just little, you know, I'm we're getting there. I'm getting there, you know what I'm saying? I'm I can do things I haven't been able to do before. You know, I can go up to her and you know, cuddle up with her and hug her and shit. You know, she'll jokingly like, oh stop, lol, you know, whatever. You know, not like jokingly like, oh no, don't touch my tit, go ahead. Like, but you know, she you know, play it off, not even play it off, but it be like I said, in the beginning I couldn't do that. In the middle I couldn't do that. I'm getting to stages that I couldn't get to before. So like I said, high school starts, and literally that first, that couple of weeks, I got a cousin, man, and I'll call him Patrick for this video, shouts out to Patrick, fuck you Patrick, but Patrick, he was a ladies man, a lot of women said that he looked like, or you know, the general consensus of the schools, females, you know, would say that, you know, he was one of the top best guys in the school, he looked like Trey Songs, all type of shit like that, so, fucking, basically, going into high school, like I said, that first, like, day and week and shit like that, like, seniors and juniors and all that shit that's already been there, they're starting to scope out freshman women, like, it was like a hunt, it was literally like the first fucking week, everybody started scoping everybody out, and, you know, like I said, my, my uh, cousin Patrick, he's like the Trey Songs of the school, every girl already wants him, so he has, like, the first round, the first pick, of women that he wants, who's coming in, and what's going down, you know, he gets the first draft, so, it was just one day, you know what I'm saying, like, it was, it was so, the way it happened, like I said, over that week, it just happened very quickly, you know what I'm saying, or, like, two weeks, so, like, the first week of school, you know, I'm still, and probably three, let's give it three, let's give it three, just a second, because, like, the first two weeks, like I said, I was still doing my little work, and still trying to do what I can do, like I said, this is the start of high school, let's get it, but, like I said, over those days that we were starting up in school that first week, I could feel that something had changed. The energy was different with her. It was just different. Something was different. And I know, like, I'd seen her talking to Patrick a time or two. I saw her and Patrick, you know, have, you know, just, you know, hey, bye, whatever, la-da-dee, la-da-da. 
but nothing really more of that over that second week. Like I said, still doing my thing, and it's looking a little bit better. I'm a little more confident. I'm like, okay, this is looking like I'm doing this. I'm doing the science. I'm count. I'm I'm crunch. I'm, I'm cracking. I'm crunching the numbers. Things are looking good. The calculations are coming out in my favor. But like I said, at the same time, I'm still seeing her converse with I'm seeing it I'm just seeing them talk so I know that they know each other you know whatever you know it's nothing like that but that third week I don't know what happened because like I said still doing my thing and it's not like every day like this was my main task this is what I'm doing but you know I'm this is what I'm doing I'm trying you know to get with this girl um yeah walking down the hallway one day we were coming from lunch and Sarah's walking in front of me Sarah's walking, you know, with her and one of her friends or whatever. I'm walking behind Sarah. I'm just chilling, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, about life, you know. I'm not even worried about anything. I'm just la da dee la da da Probably thinking about the homework I didn't do last night. Some bullshit, whatever. So, walking down the hallway. Sarah's walking. I'm probably looking at that booty, whatever. You know, whatever was going through my head, it wasn't really nothing of any other thing. But either way, like... They're walking down the hallway, and it's like two classrooms, like off to the side of the hallway. You know what I'm saying? In the cut, wham, wham. So as they're walking, when they walk past these ca uh, classrooms, Patrick comes out of nowhere. And when Patrick comes out of nowhere, he just go uh, walks up behind Sarah and you know hits her with the you know behind hug and whatever and la da da la da da. And like right then, that's when I had saw. I said, Oh fuck, holy shit. This nigga took my girl. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this my, my Patrick didn't, to Patrick's advantage, he didn't really know, you know, that I was talking to, not quote unquote, because yeah, I wasn't even really, you know, talking to. You know how people say, oh yeah, I'm talking to that girl. That's kind of, but when they say that, that's like the early stages of them dating. We weren't at them early stages yet. I was trying my best to get right there. I was like that close to the early stages part, and then I would have gotten to the dating part and a lot of deal, a lot of die. But Gary just got the. the Patrick just came out of nowhere and fucking just hugged me. He took my girl. He literally, it's like he just swooped in and took her and then I never saw her again. I was like, whoa, because that's why I said it came, it connected in my head now that, whoa, they're not just conversing and blursing. They're actually, you know, like fucking, you know, halfway together. So I was like, what? You know, you know, blowing my head wide open. You know, we were in the same class at that time, me and, um, me and Sarah. I didn't slip on the name that time, but me and Sarah were in the same class, so we were going back to the same class, and I remember, you know, I, mean, I don't remember actually what I did, but I remember, you know, probably just, you know, pretending like I ain't give a fuck, you know, just, like, yeah, man, whatever, but in my head, I was like, what the fuck, how the fuck, you know what I'm saying, I was, I was like, god damn it, I can't have anything around here, you know what I'm saying, but fucking okay, so after that, pretty much, that was pretty much it, they kind of like got together, but then they didn't even really get together, they just kind of, like I said, he was the top draft, like, he was the best quote unquote best looking guy in the school to the girl. So he just kinda had her as a sidekick and you know was still doing his thing out in the street. So it kinda, you know, was a sad story in the end. Uh because it, it, not even to say sad, but look, Sarah is still like with him. Or she thinks that she's with but she has problems with him because so like I said, Sarah was a freshman. He was a senior at the time, Patrick was. So you know when they got together it was just he did what he wanted to do, and she thought that, you know, that was, you know, that was my man, that was my guy, and so it's just been a whole lot of stress, you know, on her for that part, you know, like, they, like I said, they're still having relationship issues today, or she is, I don't think he gives a fuck, but, you know, she still cares, so, yeah, that's pretty weird, like I said, it's 2016, and that was like 2010, so, yeah, sometimes, uh, you know, like, you know, when you think about, uh, your old love or your old this or your old that, you always think back and be like, oh, man, I wonder what, oh, man, oh, well, I just look back on that one, it's like, damn, man, <laughs> it's just like a damn, you know, but what can you do, man, like I said, and then I remember, um, like a little bit later on, like my other cousin, not Patrick, this is somebody else, but he was talking to me about this situation, he was like, yeah, man, you know, Patrick and Sarah got together, rah, rah, hoo, hoo, and this cousin knew that, you know, I had a thing for her, and, you know, I was talking to her, wah, wah, hoo, hoo, and just, you know, like, he was talking, telling me one day, I was like, yeah, man, you know they together, right, ha, ha, I was like, yeah, man, yeah, you know, yeah, ha, ha, you know, I was done talking to her anyway, and then, like, I forgot, like, how it happened or how he told me, but he told me that, you know, they had had sex or whatever, like, twice, and he said, don't tell, don't tell Patrick I told you now, or something like that, I said, man, you ain't gotta worry about, man, I don't even care, <laughs> I don't give a damn, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, with the single Indian tear coming out of my face, I had a Jordan face, probably, so, you know, I ain't gonna lie, 
But yeah, that's pretty much it, man. That's the story of my cousin taking my girlfriend. It pretty much is it as graphic as you thought it was, or as is it lighter than you thought it was? Probably lighter, cause it's not really that, you know, a punch of a story. But damn, like I said, at the end of the day, of all the people that can take the girl that you like, when it's your cousin, something's just wrong with that picture, man. Something's wrong. But at the end of the day, man, I, I guess it all worked out. At least it worked out good on my favor. I don't know about the either way, man. Put it this way. I love y'all, man. And if you haven't had a cousin or you got a story like this, whether your cousin took your girl, you took your cousin girl, whatever the case is, let me know. Maybe even your dad took your girl, you know. I think that'd be worse. You know, I just always think of that. Anytime something happens to me, I got to think of, you know, what could have happened, you know. And I think if my dad would have took my girl, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I think that would have been, what if my mom took my girl? Man, look, put it this way, man. Before I start brainstorming any other impossible conclusions, how about we just get up out of here? Y'all stay safe. And keep a lock on your girl or your man. Whichever one come first. Whichever one you is and whichever one you got. Keep a lock on it. And I love y'all, man. Sheesh.